crude oil WTI has retraced beautifully and we'll discuss in the Asia session update that uh, till the time 67.7 levels you can buy oil and expect at least 68 and 68.5 levels precisely it has achieved 68.68 levels and now is still trying to trade bullish at the same time net gas has got its beautiful resistance at my favorite levels of 2.36 now and yes both are trading bullish so now what to expect with the US session which position you should take in order to trade profitably the crude oil and net gas we will see with the help of charts and indicators do not forget to like share subscribe and comment do not forget to press the bell icon which keeps you updated with the live market analysis remember this is the second video for the day and also you can remain updated by joining our free telegram channel the link is mentioned in the channel and video description let's start first we'll look into us crude followed with net gas to watch the now see one thing we had discussed in the morning update was the divergence of the price from the 20 period moving average and we have seen the divergence of the moving averages also and since then we have seen now the moving averages has started to convert the price is also looking upward so this is still a retracement you can see the support here see the momentum is gathered from 67.5 levels itself so this is going to be the support level below which only further bearishness can be confirmed now on the early charts what it is trying to do it is after the sharp drop it is still trying to trade in this bearish channel but yes uh, now uh, above 69.2 only further bullishness or uh, can be expected where you can expect 69.6 and 70 dollar levels but right now it is still trying to retrace a little you can see stronger bullish momentum carrying here now if you look at directional movement was bearish it is willing to cross over stochastic is overbought MACD has seen a v-shaped recovery it is still looking upwards trying to trade bullish here RSI is also looking upwards and on the 2 hour now see on the 2 hour charts beautifully the price is diverged from the 20 period the now the conversion is seen and possibly staying above this zone at 68.7 68.8 uh, rather I will say 69 levels itself possibility for it to hit 69.5 and 70 69.8 70 will be very very high it can try to fall back within these levels retrace a little before looking forward to the next direction Direction movement here is bearish trying to convert the stochastic is overbought MACD has taken a crossover trading with divergence and trading bullish and this is happening at a bottom levels this is happening at a lower levels this is the third time it is crossing over it can try to stretch the rise for a little while RSI coming out of the oversold zone and on the 3 hour now look at 3 hour chart see series of consolidation candles and one big bullish candle there is a possibility for second bullish candles too which can take the prices still towards 69 or 70 there is a stronger possibility that is the first part second part the sell entry is only if it trades below 67.5 now only below 67.5 you can expect that there is little bearishness where you can expect 67.267 and a crash can be expected if it trades below 67 levels now direction movement here is also bearish trying to convert the stochastic has come back to overbought zone and is still trying to trade bullish and if you look at the MACD this is willing to cross over this is in fact crossed over with a very uh, smaller body right now it is looking forward to retrace and see this is happening at a bottom this can possibly bring the prices little up RSI has also come out of the oversold zone and on the 4 hour likewise on the 4 hour charts first bullish candle chances of second bullish candle is there and uh, possibly staying above 68.8 69.2 zone this is something you should watch out for beyond that we may see it hitting 69.8 70 levels yes it can the prices can try to retain still towards these levels possibility is very very strong directional movement is bearish stochastic is rising MACD willing to converge crossover for a buy entry it is still on sell RSI has come out of the oversold levels now look at the daily Till now we have seen oil trading within the box and it is still trying to limit itself in the box. Yes, this time it tried to breach the box but it is failing to sustain trying to look upwards. How far it can stretch the rise? You can see it can nullify the complete drop what it is seen yesterday which means it can try to go till towards 670 levels also. And uh, this is one part of it but let's have a further detail look. Directional movement here is bearish. Stochastic is oversold. Now see the MACD here has crossed over and this is trading bearish and uh, this is happening after a little of retracement so this is one point where I am getting little bit of caution. RSI almost at bottom trying to recover here and hence yes you can buy at 68.8 but then expect 69, 69.2, 69.5 and then 69.8, 70 till 70 we have got very 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 good resistance here. 
स्पेसिफिकली फर्स्ट जोन इट नीज टू ब्रेक पास बाय सिक्सटी एट पॉइंट एट एंड सिक्सटी नाइन पॉइंट टू जोन वेरी टफ रेजिस्टेंस एग्जिस्ट हियर बियॉन्ड दैट मोर बुलिशनेस कैन बी एक्सपेक्टेड वी कैन सी इट हिटिंग इन फैक्ट सिक्सटी नाइन पॉइंट एट सेवेंटी लेवल्स ऑल्सो हेंस टेक यूर टेस्ट अकॉर्डिंगली एट द सेम टाइम अ सेल एंट्री इज ओनली बिलो सिक्सटी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव लेवल्स बिलो विच यू कैन एक्सपेक्टेड टू ड्रॉप फॉर सिक्सटी सेवन पॉइंट टू सिक्सटी सेवन एंड देन अ शार्पर क्रैश कैन बी एक्सपेक्टेड बिलो दो लेवल्स Take your trades accordingly. Trade with the stop loss. Trade with the trailing stop loss. Now let's have a look at natural. Before we proceed to the net gain analysis, yes, if you want to learn the art of trading profitably, you know, and if you want to become an independent profitable trader, you should join my membership batch. The twenty third batch starts on first of July. Register yourself now itself. Reach out to me for more details. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Also, you can be part of my signals group. We are trading as per the signals. Definitely, you can benefit. Reach out to me for more details. My telegram and email IDs are again mentioned in the channel and video description. Now, look at net gain. See, it has got the consolidation done here at two point two six. Since then, it has come back to the my next favorite resistance at two point three six. Because beyond this, the target is two point four, which is a very very good resistance zone. Now, if you look at the hourly chart, see first of all, it was trading bullish. It is still trading in this bullish channel. Now it has to break past the support here at two point three three and two point three two. These are the two support levels. It needs to break past by only and only if it trades below two point three two. I will recommend you to sell. Now look at the direct uh, moving averages have crossed over trading with divergence, trading bullish. This is a good bullish sign for net gains. Yes. the prices might try to converge still towards these levels and in fact only bearishness i will recommend is below 2.3 levels still 2.3 is respected this should not be treated as bearish directional movement bullish trying to converge stochastic near to overbought levels macd is bearish trying more bullish trying to converge here it has seen a good rise but now looking forward to converge crossover rsi very near to the top very near to the overbought levels and on the 2 hour charts if you look at it is trying to see this is the bullish zone this is the channel in which it is trying to trade definitely the support till towards 2.33 to 2.32 levels is very very strong the moving averages have crossed over this is a good sign and hence 2.32 levels something you should watch out for directional movement is also bullish stochastic was overbought it has retraced a bit macd is still divergent bullish looking up hence one should exercise extra caution here rsi very near to the top and on the 3 hour Now look at the R H R C. The recovery there almost to the same levels, almost a V-shaped recovery here, and hence a breakout here about 2.36 is what you should look out for. Beyond that only we can see it hitting 2.4 levels. Moving averages have again crossed over. This is a good bullish sign. I will wait for the 100 period crossover too. Directional movement bullish. Stochastic is overbought on the three R H R C, which increases the chance of the little pullback. However, the MACD has crossed over trading with divergence, trading bullish. RSI very near to the overbought levels, very near to the top. Now coming to the four R. Now look at four R chart. See straight bullishness there, a complete reversal till towards two point three six. Now trying to drop two point three two levels, very very good support below two point three two. You will get the next support at two point, and below that only you can expect that it is trying to reverse completely, and then sharp drop here can be expected. Directional movement moderately bullish. Stochastic overbought. MACD has crossed over, trying to trade with divergence and bullishness. RSI is flat near to top. Now look at net gains on the daily chart. See couple of drops here. Higher lows are seen, and if you connect the dots, it is trying to trade in this bullish channel. And if you look at the previous candle, was with a longer tail. This possibly indicates the reversal of the trend. Hence, about 2.36. Just stay long for 2.4, 2.5, and this time we are going to see a very, very, very good rise. Now see higher lows are seen here. We have discussed several times till the time crew, uh, net gas respects 2.06. We should not be treating this as bearish, and it can it is bound to remain elevated from here. But look at the daily charts direction. Uh, you can see the moving averages have crossed over, trading with divergence, trading bearish here. Hence, I will wait for these two also to converge crossover, and then couple of bullish candle can help them uh, help it to crossover. Direction movement moderately bearish. Stochastic has. Uh, come to comfortable levels now trying to look upwards the macd is also willing to converge crossover it is not yet crossed over rsi is also started to look upwards hence above 2.36 you can buy but then expect 2.38 2.4 levels a very very good resistance level beyond 2.4 just stay long more bullishness can be seen there about 2.4 levels where you can expect 2.44 and 2.5 levels directly
on the downside a sell entry below 2.32 can be taken however i will remain uh, i will uh, remind you to stay caution for 2.3 2.28 2.26 levels till then possibility of a bounce back will always remain very very high so take your trades accordingly trade with a stop loss trade with a trailing stop loss do not forget to like share subscribe and comment join my mentorship batch join my signal channel reach out to me for any of your trading or training queries my telegram and email id are mentioned in the channel and video description thank you very much have a great profitable trading day thank you